All right, back out on trail at another epic dispersed camping spot in the Chippewa National Forest. Stumbled upon this site. I've been kind of checking it out on my maps for a couple few months and uh, turned out to be a good one once I got here. It was rough going getting here on the roads. They're definitely four wheel drive to get here. There's no cars or any low clearance vehicles making it back to this lake. And there's actually a spot, there's another lake on the other side of this lake that has a camp spot. And I went there, or I went towards there, and there is, the mud is insane. Like, I don't trust myself being by myself to take those roads. So um, I'm taking a safe bet. This was the lake I was originally trying to go to anyway. So that lake can be for another day with somebody else, just in case you need to be towed out of a mud puddle. <laughs> But this is gorgeous, and there's actually another site right over here, maybe a 10 minute walk down the road. Uh, so there's actually two dispersed camping sites at this lake. So beautiful, and there's a latrine here, so you've definitely got a spot to do your business. You don't have to dig a cat hole or anything like that out in these woods. Got a fire pit, got a picnic table, got the lake, got seclusion, got quietness. Can't get much better so this is gonna be a nice relaxing night out in the woods i haven't been by myself in a while on a solo trip so it's gonna be nice to just hang out here in silence and have the woods all to myself here exploring around the lake and found a nice beaver lodge and there's one across the lake over there seems to be one and kind of another one kind of down across from where I'm my side is so looks like there's three beaver lodges here on this tiny little lake so I wonder if I'll hear them tonight slapping around now that they know that I'm kind of in their territory.
I'm just sitting here watching the sunset. It is epically beautiful watching this sunset right on the lake right here. Just gorgeous. And as I'm sitting here, a loon swoops in, calls out to the other loons. I heard another loon on the lake over there kind of answer back. And then he kind of swam down over into a cove over there, but he's been sitting there kind of making his loon calls back and forth. So it's just been epic and wonderful to sit here and just the fire going, sunset right in front of me, loons calling out on the lake in front of me, fish jumping on the lake. What a gorgeous night. It is so silent and calming and relaxing at this site. Like I said, top five site for me, easy. Just gorgeous out here. I'm gonna sit and continue to watch the sunset. Probably sit around the fire for a little bit and crash out early. Just been a perfect day. Perfect day and a beautiful evening with the sun setting. I mean, look at that. sitting around the campfire and I just happened to look around the lake because it's dusk and I know at dusk is when the animals come out and I was more or less walking around hoping to see a moose and I saw two black dots at the far end of the lake so I couldn't see them I went to my truck and grabbed my binoculars thank god I have them because when I got out here bears in front of me. I've got one over there and one right there. And they just look like black dots to the naked eye. But when I zoomed in with the binoculars, I saw the face, I saw a snout, I saw it moving around. They're not big, but one's hanging out by the lake and one's kind of rustling around in the bushes right by the like on the edge of the lake. I don't know if they know each other. <laughs> because they're only 50 to 75 yards apart maybe i'm gonna see if i can catch it with the camera and the zoom there we've got the one right there moving around this is as far in as i can zoom but you can see him moseying on up the hill right there he's been hanging out the water for a good 10 minutes you can hear him moving through their bushes now looking back at me. God, I wish I could zoom in farther. He's looking back right at me. And the other one just got into the water. All right, there's the other one kind of hanging out on the edge of the water. Let me see if I can pan over and get the other one. See how she, so you can see how close they are. There's the other one right there. So I got two little visitors with me at camp tonight. All right, the action just doesn't stop out here. Now I'm thinking I'm seeing a third bear across the other side of the lake. And that's too far away to be one of the other two that I saw over here. There's one over there now. So I got three bears at the campsite here. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in and catch this one. It's getting pretty dusk and I mean, right now, from me looking at the camera, it looks pretty light out. The iPhone picks up light so well, but the bear is like right there. See if I can't pick him up. It's hard to see him, but he's way out, like right there. See if I can't zoom in. Yeah, see, once you zoom in, it gets so grainy because it's dusk. 
and if the camera's trying to pick up too much light. But oh my goodness, that's three bears at the campsite here. all packed up and taken off beautiful sight here in the chippewa national forest and a gorgeous night last night oh my goodness not to mention the three bears that came into the lake over here that was fun to see and fun to watch and none of them came in overnight so that's another good thing but i'm all packed up time to get the hell on out of here catch me on the next one